A new type of transportation is emerging, which is both automated and efficient. Online retailers are already utilizing this form of delivery, and the first generation of vehicles are proving to be an effective tool in specific applications. Given the progression of battery and storage technology, along with increased flight times, we could eventually see this type of drone become more mainstream. For now, companies are already testing out the limits of this type of craft. And this video is going to specifically cover unmanned rotorcraft vehicles. So let's get started and look at some of the biggest drones which have been made so far. At number 7, the 210 TL. We start off with something a little bit different, and this one sort of resembles the Chinook Heavy Lift Copter. Anyways, the company claims that it can travel faster than a multi-copter design, which would probably be more attributed to its fuselage design and flight trajectory. Anyways, it has an impressive 75 mile range, 62 mile per hour speed, and a 55 pound payload capacity. The craft can also fly for an impressive one hour, and it's powered by a proprietary G4 autopilot system which provides data feedback. We move on to the next strange position, and it's the Agra drone. I think most of us have had the idea of building the biggest drone, and I admittedly spent time trying to do this with basic flight controllers, which amounted to catastrophic failure. But a Dutch company has built a very large prototype, which has over 16 props and it's over 19 feet wide. It is meant for crop Spain and it features a two-stroke engine which is coupled to a generator for power. This means that it's not limited to batteries and it can carry over 50 liters of liquid. With a little bit of tinkering, I'm sure you can fly this thing for at least an hour and get a good view of the neighborhood. But no official numbers have come out just yet, so we're going to have to keep an eye on this one. Hatch number 5, the Bell APT. This is one of my favorite designs which incorporates fixed wings and four heavy duty motors. The drone can go really fast at 100 miles per hour and it can typically cover 35 miles on one charge. It's also very large with a 6 foot height and a 300 pound weight. It also carries 70 pounds of cargo between its two wings and it can fly entirely on its own with a designated waypoint and return home function. Let's just hope it has a good fail safe system because you wouldn't want this thing coming crashing on the ground. At number 4, the Ehan Cargo Drone. We step up considerably and look at a very large cargo drone from the same company which built this single passenger flying vehicle. It is capable of carrying 400 pounds for roughly 25 miles. The 216 can fly autonomously along a given route, and it's based on its predecessor, so it employs a distributed electric propulsion system consisting of 8 arms and 16 motors. It's a pretty redundant system which allows for partial motor or even battery failure. Ultimately, it's one of the safer cargo vehicles out there, and it's probably going to see commercial use very soon. That's uh, number 3, the S100. Another very large craft stems from Shebel, and this one's a step up from the SDO. It can carry up to 75 pounds, has a 6 hour flight time, and a staggering 136 mile per hour top speed. Once again, the craft has multiple abilities including terrain scanning, surveillance, and even long range reconnaissance missions. The craft is powered by a 50 horsepower rotary engine, and it has a range of 100 miles. The S100 is likely to be in the million dollar range, which is basically unaffordable to 99% of the market, so it's more meant for military applications. Hatch number 2, the 300. We now get back to a more conventional multi-copter design, which supposedly can lift 500 pounds. 20 different accessory hookups can be set up with the drone, and there's even a 500 foot tether which would allow the drone to stay in the air indefinitely. There's also a newer model which is being worked on which will supposedly lift over 1700 pounds, which is pretty much overkill. I would like to see more confirmation on these numbers, but it's just a prototype for now. Ultimately, it would be a perfect vehicle for skydiving. So before we get to number 1, it is worth mentioning that some very large vehicles have been converted to UAVs. The K-Max was built by Lockheed Martin and it has a huge 6,000 pound capacity and a 12,000 pound takeoff weight. A ground controller uploads the flight path to the central computer and the flight plan can be changed during flight. It has a range of over 1,000 miles and it's powered by Honeywell turbine engine with 1800 horsepower. So basically it's a very heavy lifter designed for battlefield cargo and resupply missions and obviously it eliminates pilot vulnerability. Now we get to number 1 and it's a huge craft built by Boeing. One of the largest drones in the world stretches to 17 feet long, 20 feet wide and 5 feet tall. 
It weighs over 1,100 pounds, and it's powered by 12 counter-rotating props which can handle over 500 pounds of payload. The electric VTOL was revealed shortly after Boeing acquired Aurora Flight Sciences, which was a research company specializing in building flying UAVs. So I would suspect that this drone might be developed into a personal flying vehicle in the future. The cargo vehicle has definitely set the bar for drone size, but I think it's just the beginning, and we will likely see only bigger cargo drones. And I will let you decide on whether or not that is a good thing. So. Once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.